So what exactly do you mean by divisive? This is a world This is a world premiere. This is a world Hey y'all, Reg here. Welcome back to another Food for Thought. So I'm having me a big old smoothie. I went out into the backyard and I harvested a whole bunch of chicory greens and I mixed those with some frozen banana and apple. So I'm really excited that y'all were into the video that I made and people left comments, Kaori Flora and G is for Gary and Tamcon72 and Vlog Like No One Is Watching. It's really interesting to hear some of the feedback and responses to my question about why the Black People Are Stupid video has over 10,000 views when I'm a micro channel and some of the answers that I got to the question were very interesting. Very interesting. I was particularly interested in the response from Vlog Like No One Is Watching. And the reason I'm interested is because this whole idea of topics that are divisive tend to, you know, get a lot of attention or controversial topics, obviously, right? That's drama. And I get accused of being divisive a lot. And what's interesting about that is it's normally when there is a situation where one group is being exploited in some way to benefit another group. When it is called out that that group is being exploited, not necessarily because of their, their identity, but it is clear that their identity is going to make them an easier target. It's not that I don't like you, but mm, I know that mm, you don't have any political clout and if I do this to you or in your neighborhood, I'm gonna get away with it, right? So when we bring up those ideas and we bring up the fact that people are being targeted because they are, there's a weakness. There's a political weakness that has been identified. And when we call that out, when I call that out, I find myself being accused of being divisive. But let's be honest, the division was there. These divisions are there. We live in a society that is all about, that's been built on divide and conquer strategies that have been used throughout history, right? To keep people separate, to keep people fighting each other so that they don't focus on what the real issues are. I wonder how that word tends to have so much power to shut people down, to shut down arguments. And I guess because on some level, we're afraid to face those realities. The fact that we live in a society that is so ideologically divided uh, and we don't see a way, maybe we don't see a way of bridging those gaps. We don't think of that as possible. But I come into those conversations completely under the assumption and the belief that those gaps can be bridged. So is it divisive to call it out in the name of healing those divisions or is it more divisive to just be silent and allow those social inequities to exist? I don't know, that's a lot for the morning, but I think I'm gonna leave it there. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.